Back again with another video, and these are just running gun style videos. I feel inspired, I feel a flame inside of myself, I feel motivated. So I completely skimp out on a topic, and I just jump on camera, and I speak what I feel. And I feel like God will just give me these little things to go off of, but it's not like something full. And there's different parts of my story that I want to bring up and mesh it all together. And that's kind of how I've been going up to this moment. And it's been such a long time that I have actually been passionate about YouTube, and that's why it is so important to follow your truth and to go with your gut instinct, to go with what you feel and not follow the crowd because when you follow the crowd, you will drain and deplete yourself along the way and you won't get as far, but when you lead with passion, it will be authentic and people can relate to it and you will go so far because it is authentic to you and you enjoy doing it and you feel called to do it. So a lot of the times when I'm called to do something, I'm just obedient and I'm like, okay, I don't care what time it is. I don't care how tired I am. Let's make this video. Let's get it done and let's just spread the wisdom that God gives and that's what we're we're doing today right here right now I've been in so many conversations and so many dialogues for hours upon hours with different individuals just scraping out my brain and going into deep conversations and I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty drained but there's no excuse today at 6 30 I met up with some missionaries and this was the last grand conversation that was taking place and this is where we departed because I believe in the original Christianity like the original book I believe in the tree you know I don't believe in the branches that stem from the tree and that is just me personally and if I'm wrong then so be it you know if the Mormons are right and I happen to go to hell because I believe this is my truth and so be it and if they're wrong and they go to hell who cares but you can tell why there's a huge war in Christianity because we want to be right we want to be in the right path because God warns about false doctrines false preachers your best bet is to go with the original book the one that started it all and this was the last grand conversation we were gonna have before they were gonna baptize me and I was breaking it off I do not not believe in what you guys believe in and what you dedicated two years of your life for is a lie or that's how it came across or that's how I felt so I was just hyperventilating I'm like oh my god this is gonna be so weird it's gonna be tense it's gonna be awkward and I just went into the moment we were talking for an hour and it was back and forth I was being very respectful because a lot of Christians they want to attack other Christians and I get it God prophesies and he always talks about false doctrines and false teachers and how you got to be careful and you got to follow the truth and don't get led astray by the Antichrist and all these things. So when we feel the wrong thing, we want to attack. And that's not really the way I seen it in that moment because we are both rooting for God and that is our truth. It is a sin to lead people astray and to lead people into the wrong direction. But this is how I see it. And God, if I'm wrong, strike me down. It doesn't really go with the Bible, but you know how Jesus is. He's all loving. He wants everybody to be together. He loves literally everybody. And these individuals, they are in the right direction. Like they are saving people. People, even if it's not a thousand percent aligned with what God wants and it strays away from his path and it is false teaching which is a sin don't get me wrong God does not promote that at all those individuals still brought me here which is helping other individuals and when I was starting my journey these mega churches Joel Osteen doesn't talk about gay marriage or how homosexuality is a sin he doesn't brush upon those topics he doesn't talk about things that are true Christianity but a lot of these things are stepping stones to God and it is up to us to take it to that place. You know, there is a lot of teachers and there's a lot of prophets who come out who do tickle the ears and they tell you what you want to hear. For you as an individual, if you want to go deeper in the faith, you could go to the next level and you could go to somebody who has that sound doctrine, somebody who is speaking the truth. Like I started with Joel Osteen when I was at work, when I was just getting introduced to God, I started with Joel Osteen and it was motivating me and that's what brought me to God. And that's why I'm very hesitant on a attacking righteous individuals or people who are walking with God because God is using them in some way and for me to be like you're going to hell because you are dedicating your life to Jesus but that's your truth and you've been led astray like it, I don't know it just doesn't resonate with what God truly wants there is true wickedness in this world that we as Christians and the whole embodiment of Christ should band together and combat that and not attack one another like I could stand beside a Mormon and he could have his beliefs that don't align with the Bible at all. But that doesn't mean they're not bringing people to Christ. People could go to that church. They could learn about Christ. They could learn about his love. If they want to go deeper with the truth, they could just ask God for the truth. Like it's better than kids being picked up by the wickedness. It's a fine line. There is false teachers and there are people who are tickling the ears. But God has called everybody to do their own thing. To call people into the kingdom in some way. Like Cardi B. The opposite of a godly 
godly woman, but she came out and she said she is a Christian. She believes in God. And we all God's child. You know she isn't probably going to heaven. She isn't following God a thousand percent. But God could be using these people because they have fans. They have supporters who look up to them. And although these people are demonic or they're part of the mainstream satanic system. The fact that they even brought up Jesus or have Jesus in their mouth. That could lead her fans into that direction to where they could be saved. So everybody could be used. God could use you and you could still go to hell. <laughs> Some rock star could come out of the blue and be like, I believe in Jesus and he could lead all his fans to Christ and he could just be sinning and he could go off the unrighteous path and he could perish. I feel like as Christians, we're so quick to attack what Jesus is doing instead of attacking the enemy righteously with righteous anger because it is a whole body of Christ and I feel like God would want us to all band together as people anyways. He would want the world to love one another. So I came at it with that perspective because it was getting kind of dicey. I felt very weird because they wanted me me to really come out and tell them how I felt but I felt like I was just attacking their beliefs with everything I was saying and I'm like man I feel so bad these kids dedicated two years of their life literally their whole life if they're gonna continue in that faith and they have testimonies on this book that they believe it's true and I'm coming out here like no I don't believe in that book it is false it's just to add on to the Bible and there's no way you believe Joseph Smith going off like that did not feel right so I just came across spiritually more mature and I I'm like, you know what? I respect your beliefs. We feel that conviction. We feel that truth. So who says either one of us is wrong? Although one of us is wrong because I don't want to dilute the or water down the Bible like many people do. One of us is wrong, but God has called us and we are saving people regardless. And it is for us to dig deeper in the truth because our journey never really stops. So those Mormons, they could repent. I could be wrong. I know there's a lot of things in my life that I still have to fix. Our journeys are never ending. And also another thing with Christians attacking different Christians for having different beliefs and although one side of the group may be wrong united we stand divided we fall these Mormons have good principles and they have good ways of living in place they're not evil they're waiting till they get married to have sex they're not giving into worldly desires they're respectful they're kind and these are the people we decide to attack it really doesn't make sense we don't attack the wicked but we attack people who are closer to where God wants the righteous to be we're more critical on those people, which yes, we do hold more of a responsibility because we have more knowledge, which makes us more accountable for our actions. And we do have to continually learn and better ourselves because we do know and the wicked, they really don't. These people already have good morals in place. And who are we to cast a stone? Like God said, check your own eye for the plank instead of checking somebody else's. Uh, that's definitely not what the script. <laughs> and these people are morally living better than 99.9% .9 of the world and that's truly what God wants and yes we all fall short of the glory of God each and every single one of us but one thing is for certain this did not make me feel good they felt defeated when they left and I felt like I had the Holy Spirit in my heart in my mind felt like I was a little closer to the truth I'm like yes I'm just gonna back the original Bible because in that Bible God said there will be false prophets after that book all of that stuff applies but as for the Bible I see the Bible as the truth and everything else is just an add-on and I don't necessarily see it as the truth. It just expands my wisdom and it expands my mind on who Jesus was and just the story. But this is exactly what the government wants and it doesn't even have to be a religious thing. Like they want us to be attacking each other. They want us to be all divided. They want the family structure to fall apart. They want us to be against each other because if we were all standing together united and we looked at the real issue, the main problem, which is the government and those wicked beings at the top, if we all banded together Together and we looked at them and we started marching towards them. That's when real change would go down. But the government, they want us to be divided. They want us to fight, whether it's BLM, religion, or whatever else they bring up to separate the people amongst the people. That is what they want because the more we fight, it decreases our odds of really making change in this world. But if we did stand together, Christians as well, the Christians all stood together and they're like, you know what? We believe in Jesus. We believe in these morals. We believe in these principles. The wicked's got to go. And we marched forward like that. It doesn't matter. If you believe you're going to transcend into a God, you only believe in the KJV Bible and you don't even believe in the principles or the morals. If you just believe in the Bible and that's it, okay, let's just march forward and we believe in God and we believe in these principles and let's just push out the wicked. If we march forward like that, all the people who don't even believe in God, they'll be like, you know what? We're sick and tired of this wickedness and we just band it together. That would be powerful. That's just what the government wants. They want us attacking each other. They want us wasting our energy and that is just a control tactic that they have, which is unfortunate. But hey, what can you do when you live in a shoe? But yes, I'm still 
still a Catholic, but I still will go to this Mormon church and I believe I will be influential because they do enjoy my presence because I'm bold and I speak the truth and I don't really care. And I open up the conversations that people really want to hear, but nobody's really talking about it. And that's what lightens up the spirit. That's what brings the fire. That's what brings the enthusiasm. And that's what brings the life to this planet is when people are bold and they want to speak the things that nobody really wants to speak about. It opens up that conversation that people have been suppressing for years. I'm bold enough to say the truth and just to open up that doorway to where we can express ourselves and we can just have those conversations that a lot of people don't want to have because they think it's too dicey or whatever. So when I go to the churches, we will set up chairs and there will be so many people at the back, a whole assembly of people. And I just speak boldly and I just stand on the truth of Jesus Christ. You can see their spirits lighten up because the churches have been watered down for so long and they have been spiritually dead for so long and nobody is really bringing the truth in that church. So I'll go to these churches and we'll have the conversations that nobody has. And you can see the faith lighting up in these individuals. You can see the life coming out of these spiritually dead individuals and it's lighting up their faith again. It's going to be weird to see when I go to church on Sunday, now that I decided to be Catholic and not go down that Mormon route, how they will react to me. But I feel like if I come along like, hey, I respect your beliefs and I come up with this ideology of we should just stand together, we should band together and we should fight together. It's better than Satanists. It's better than the wickedness in this world. Like we both have good morals. We both have the truth within us that we feel. And even though I don't believe in what you believe in 100%, I could still gain wisdom from what they're talking about and they could gain wisdom from what I'm talking about. And we can learn about Christ together. It doesn't have to be tearing another down so we can rise up in the truth. That's not what God's about. It could just be they believe in Jesus. They love Jesus. They will serve literally two years of their life to go across the country or to go across the world to serve Jesus. So who says they are wrong? Who says that calling is wrong and it's not from God? That doesn't even make sense. Like, how do you just think in your mind, I am going to leave my country so I can go minister God, so I can just go preach the gospel door to door. Like, obviously, you have to be called from God for that. So who am I to disrespect God's work? That's why you got to be careful when you are disrespecting the righteous because you may be facing God's wrath. If you attack one of the righteous, God protects his children. So you got to watch out. God has a calling for certain individuals. He has a calling for everybody. But many are called and few are chosen. And that's because you have to be obedient. You have to be humble. You cannot be prideful. You have to be open and receiving to the message. And God wants to use us. God wants to promote his kingdom because this world is wicked and it's dark and the agenda and the system and what is going on in this world is getting darker and more wicked. And it's progressing faster and faster and faster. And we need more people on the bright side who can combat that darkness because there is a spiritual warfare going on. And listen, we don't want light attacking light. And yes, there could be wolves in sheep clothing who disguise themselves as light because Satan masquerades himself as an angel of light. But these Mormons and all these Jehovah Witnesses, that could be the case. I'm not saying mesh the religion together where there's no truth. I'm saying stand on the truth. Don't attack a Mormon. Don't attack a Jehovah Witness. Like that's not where your energy should be fueled towards. It should be fueled towards the wickedness of this world and we should band together. They may be wrong, but that's not where we should be channeling our energy, focusing on changing this demonic system and fighting the good fight. But yeah, my computer died, so my microphone turned off, but I'm going to continue to go to this Mormon church because it's the only church that I kind of have a relationship to, which is going to be very different. I feel like I got the Catholic faith, but I'm learning from the Mormons, and I could just learn from everybody. I need all the wisdom that I could possibly get about God, but you can learn from everybody, and that is just a fact. And the moment you think you can't, you turn into a fool. And when it comes to you, you got to seek that truth for yourself. you got to ask God. God for that truth and that's all you can do at the end of the day. When I say God, Jesus, Jesus, God, God, Jesus, because you know, you never really know what God you're praying to. Be careful. So yeah, anyways, that is all. That is it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Here I am.